referencing climate change, I think people say in 10 years, so, something or other, the city will be underground if, with, from ocean water at this rate. I'm like, yeah, okay. I get these models of, of fear of like in 10 years, it's, it'll be destroyed kind of thing. But it's like if you're on a road, this is the metaphor I'm thinking. You're driving down the road and in 30 miles down the road, there's a brick wall. And people are like, you're going to hit a brick wall. And you're like, it's in 30 miles from here. People are like, you're going to hit a brick wall. You're going to hit a brick wall. You're like, dude, I'm making a left turn in a, in a couple blocks because we're going to start recapturing the carbon and reusing it, depositing it on a palladium or copper, or we'll find new ways, turning it into graphene, flash graphene. We'll be able to make super capacitors out of it. We'll be competing with trees for carbon. So it's going to be another problem. It, So when science makes models saying in X amount of time, this will happen, they don't, it's because they're making systems that don't account for change, which is such a stupid way to do it. And there are times and places when that works in short term for sure. But don't live in fear. But it is an alarm that indicates we have to change our behavior. I w probably wouldn't be thinking about depositing graphene carbon dioxide onto metal and turning it into graphene if people weren't like hey by the way all this carbon dioxide in the air is a problem i would have just thinking about mining it and stuff so here we go we both win see you later